Ooh. No, Jesus. So I want to do a quick little review of the Akado Armory, uh, Tetsubo Katana, and the Raiju Ko Katana. I wanted to give my impression of these because I feel like they're probably the best katana simulators that I've practiced with so far. This one's what, slightly larger than that one? Yep. So I think that was a 27-inch blade, and this one's a 24. Why is this called a Ko Katana? Because it has a shorter blade, but the same length handle as a katana. It's meant for what? It's just a style preference <laughs> from the clans. <laughs> Is that really what it was? Yes. Okay. It's for a quicker draw. So we're squaring off. Our katanas are straight. You can't see how long mine is. That's the whole plan. Yeah. You don't know what it is. So when we go to square off, you go to draw. Oh, I got you before you got me. <laughs> is that really what it was for? Slide yours out as we go together. <laughs> yeah. The little subtlety of the shorter swords are better in close situations. Mm. Our good friend Brandon brought in an actual 300 plus year old katana here. It was made sometime around the 17th century, and this is an authentic katana that was probably held by actual samurai. Ooh, that's a lot more weighty. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That one instantly dips forward the instant you touch it. They're hand. all supposed to be, um, they're all tip heavy, well, blade heavy. One of the things about uh, training swords is that. You don't actually want it to be close to an actual katana, yeah. or some people don't, because they hit so fucking hard. I don't think people realize how hard they hit. They're the same weight as a longsword, but they're shorter. So all that weight is at the balance point, mm -hmm. condensed down here. It's very solid. Not nearly as balanced as the other one. A short little handle, though. But it's enough. I mean, it, because how solid it is, it moves like very quickly. Mm-hmm. The trouble with katana trainers is that there's been some difficulty finding the balance between feeling like a katana but not hitting like a katana. The Castile Armory katana trainers are very well made but they're extremely light and they just don't really feel much like a katana to me.
Again, they both feel, like he said, they're really close to this, the real deal. The, the presence is there, the feel is there, all the motions, feels like a real time. And again, it's, it's safe. I mean, I got tired out at the end there and I got wailed on pretty good, but no injuries. <laughs> I didn't even feel like I got hit, what, a minute later? Nice. No bruises, no nothing. You're 100% safe. You thrusted, we're safe. The tip fell off. You did get thrusted pretty good. But yeah, I mean, even the, um, I mean, you can see the nicks on the guards. So we had some fun. There's a nice little... This is when you got this from them, right? No, these are mine. I put those on. Okay. I did customize it. But you can see the bent on here. Like, we... Took them a little, oh shit, little at heavy at the end. So this is not the one that they sent you. No. Okay, good. No, I customized them to make them stand out from everyone else's, so <laughs> I can tell them apart. Nice. Okay. But the blades themselves are pretty good. I mean, we just have that one little nick there, which you barely feel. And where would it be on this one? Maybe here. Yeah. This is not that bad. I mean, I can go over this one time with a file, I think, and it'll be fine. But 
they put it through a belt grinder to round it off a little more because they didn't really bite into each other. In fact, it definitely came from the factory. So, compared to the Castile, how do you prefer it? I do like these. I believe I want to say I like these better. The other ones felt more lighter. So they did have a thinner blade underneath, so I didn't really have the same feel. Right, right. All right. What do you think of it? I like it. Um, you know, I've, I've worked with a couple of different trainers. I've handled a lot of originals, and I feel like the blade presence is a lot more like a real one. Um, but the problem that I had with uh, with some of the other ones I've had is they tend to be too back weighted. Um, and a katana is a cutting weapon. It's always going to balance like four to five inches from the handguard, and that's what I want. I want that feeling, and I think this has it. Like that's. That just feels nice. It's got a little bit more heft to it, but in a safe way. I don't think it's going to hurt anybody. It's got enough flex in it, um, but it feels more like a real one. You want to feel like a real one in your hands, but not on your opponent. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a good stand-in for a real one. It doesn't feel like it's super nimble in the tip, which is, which is really what I was looking for. I'm happy with it. I think it's great. I can't wait till mine comes along. <laughs>